My granddaughters, um, not, not so much. I have two daughters who live in Manhattan. They're very much city girls. To them is the center of the world. And it hasn't been until recently where they've expressed to me that things have changed, that they, they fear for their safety, that things in general in a big city like New York are not the same. It's not as safe as it used to be when I grew up there. In particular, uh, it's, they see what's happening on the college campuses. Luckily now, things may have slowed down a little bit because it's summer break, but nevertheless, it's difficult to be in, in a lot of places in the United States these days. Uh, people say, you know, take off your Jewish stars. Uh, don't, wear a, don't wear a kippah. Um, be careful, you know, where you walk. It's scary because you hear the stories of other people and then you internalize things and leaves you with a terrible feeling that you can't be safe, not only in your own city where, you know, your birth certificate says New York City on it uh, and you can't be safe there in, in, a, in a city that used to be considered multi, you know, racial, uh, you know, African Americans, Chinese. Uh, I, I've lived in neighborhoods with Italians and and Muslims uh, in in New York, and we everyone got along. Everyone looked out for, when I was little. You couldn't walk down the street without somebody's mother lo looking out a window and 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 making sure you were safe. It's not like that anymore in New York, and from what I hear, it's not like that uh, in most big cities in this country. People ask me, when is it time? When do you think it will be time? to leave this country. And it's something I never thought I'd hear in my life.